speaking of you know embracing challenges you know and really embodying that essence of grits and resiliency what are what are the type of challenges and how do you overcome those challenges find solutions in your day-to-day practice at the moment especially now that we're living in, in you know in the age of covid and things of that nature mm. I'm on the front lines of that, like the, the world pandemic. I'm in the epicenter of being in Jersey City, New Jersey, New York City, we're right across the bridge from New York City. So we were hit, you know, it was serious as it gets. Like this was, it was really crazy. Like March 15th to April 15th, that was the second wave. So I was hands-on in the ICU, Jersey City Medical Center, you know, putting the lines on the COVID patients, you know, ma- managing the vents, the, meaning the ventilation, you know, when a patient gets intubated, they have a vent. Got to change the vent settings. We're treating it according to ARDS protocol. You know, putting the orders in the whole nine. So, you know, the challenges of COVID, the challenges of residency. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like it, it's a, it was a whole. It is a whole struggle to me, for me. It, and it's, it's a blessing because I'm grateful for the challenges and the struggles I go through. So. Man, how do I deal with it? My go-to is just number one, always remembering God and calling on God for the strength moment to moment. Number two, always remembering that the only God's will is going to come to pass. And then number three, like with that constant remembrance and understanding, you know, whatever goes right or wrong is really not in my hands. So now it's up to me to train. So working hard, putting in the time, training, that's what <clears throat> relieves anxiety. You know, a lot of anxiety comes when you're not prepared. And when you're not prepared, it's coming because you didn't train and work hard. So, you know, putting in that hard work and training and, and learning and doing the best you can when it's peace prepares you for when the challenge comes. So, you know, it's a lot of times that you spent, you know, we work crazy hours and all that during, during residency and then go home, try to read a little bit, keep on learning. You know, that's the best way I think to prepare with you know, for any type of challenges or calamities or, and I kind of like in all humility, I've been dealing with it like my whole life, really. A lot of my life, I kind of seen real struggles and real life and death circumstances. You know, when you weigh certain people, you know, the way, you know, without really saying too much, there's people out here living with life and death where certain decisions you can get killed behind or certain, you know, things you see and go through when you experience and what I've been through personally, you know, I kind of just like, unless you really about to get killed or you about to go to jail for life, it's not that serious. That's kind of crazy for some people to think, but in my mentality, it's like, you know, that, that's a lot, that's real stress. This is too, but you go through a lot of those types of things and you face, you get faced with, you know, crazy jams that, you know, when you really in the midst of struggle and what I've seen, what I've seen people who I love go through, um, I kind of just always keep it in perspective that it all, I always had this mentality, like it always could be worse. Even when I was younger, like I would look at what my friends were going through and understand. And then I look back like, damn, what I went through was crazy, but I never felt like it was that crazy at the time because I understand it could always be worse, not to really judge or compare myself to another person's perspective just understanding that whatever I'm in could be worse so you know it just helps me stay focused and stay positive in Punjabi culture so later on in my life I can reconnect it to my roots and my heritage and then uh you know the Guru Sikhi teaches us like in our people in our background like whatever challenge you face you're supposed to face it with positivity you're supposed to go through life's challenges with a positive mindset to you know continue to work hard, never quit. So I just try to stay solid. And when I'm under pressure, I just say less, I try to be helpful. I try to keep learning. I just try to do the best that I can train my, trust my training. And you know, at the end of the day, I, all I can do is my best. And you can't lie to yourself because you know, when you did, you know, when you didn't, when you don't, when you don't train hard, when you don't work hard, then, you know, you feel it when the pressure's on. So it's kind of like, but that being said, let's, really keep learning, keep getting better. Then you go through more experiences. You you capture those times that you did the right thing, order wrong, wrong thing, you learn from it, apply it now. It goes well, kind of gives you more and more confidence. So just, you know, calling on God for my confidence, staying calm, poised, and 
you know, calm, poised, and, and solid under pressure. These are the characteristics that, at least where I'm from in the era I'm from, that's what was real. And I appreciate that because that's what, you know, a lot of people, society might call them bad people. They, they taught me these principles and I value that. To me, that's so like to be fearless, you know, to be solid, to stand firm and stand solid on principles and not waver from your principles. That's to me something that's very valuable.